Today we're here to talk about the new Corrado G60 engine, the Digifon components that are new to the Corrado, and we'll also cover setting the ignition timing, the idle speed, and CO. The basis of the 158 horsepower G60 Corrado engine is the 1.8 liter GTI engine. However, the cylinder head has received additional heat treatment. Also, the head gasket has been reinforced. The wrist pins have been strengthened and are now longer. The connecting rod bolts have been strengthened and the crankshaft is now forged instead of cast. The Corrado uses a Digifon engine management system. This system differs slightly from the Digifon 2 system used on the Golf and Jettas. The differences are the addition of a manifold pressure sensor, the deletion of the airflow meter and the addition of a CO potentiometer, the addition of a boost pressure control, and pressure switch for the fuel pump run-on. A manifold pressure sensor located inside the Digifont ECU replaces the airflow meter. The pressure sensor is used to measure intake manifold pressure. This pressure measurement is used by the ECU to determine engine load and manifold boost pressure. A vacuum line from the intake manifold to the Digifon ECU is used to transmit the manifold pressure signal. The length of the vacuum line is one meter or 39 inches. This length is important. If the length is altered, poor engine performance could result. Now a potentiometer is used to adjust the CO mixture. The potentiometer is located on the intake air duct before the throttle housing. The CO adjustment screw is located under the tamper-proof plug. An air temperature sensor is located within the potentiometer housing. This sensor measures air temperature for corrections to air density. Because of the harmonics of the G-charger, the NOx sensor is attached to a casting hole plug next to cylinder number two. This prevents incorrect signals from being transmitted from the NOx sensor. This engine management system uses the idle stabilizer to control both the idle speed and manifold boost pressure. This idle stabilizer is a new type. It uses a piston instead of a plunger. This valve will also be used on Digifont 2 vehicles. During idle, the idle stabilizer valve allows air to flow into the intake manifold via the boost pressure return duct. The idle stabilizer valve also has a second function. As soon as the boost pressure rises in excess of 0.8 bar, the idle stabilizer vents the excess boost pressure back into the G-charger intake. Another new item on the Corrado is the fuel pump afterrun system. Both the transfer pump and the fuel pump are used to recirculate fuel. If the underhood temperature is above 90 degrees Celsius and the fuel pressure is above 1.2 bar, both pumps should turn on two minutes after the ignition has been switched off. The afterrun system uses two switches to turn the fuel pumps on and off. The radiator fan afterrun switch to measure the underhood temperature and a pressure switch to measure fuel pressure. The radiator fan can run up to a maximum time of 10 minutes on afterrun and the fuel pumps up to a maximum of 8 minutes. The procedures for checking or adjusting the basic engine settings differ slightly from vehicles equipped with Digifont 2. Now when checking or adjusting the ignition timing, idle speed and CO, make sure that the engine is fully warmed. Also, make sure that any major electrical consumers such as AC and radiator fan are not operating during your checks and adjustments. Pull off the crankcase breather hose at the crankcase pressure regulating valve located on the top of the valve cover. Turn the hose to the side and don't plug it. Once you've hooked up the CO meter and the VAG1367, we can go ahead and check the ignition timing. On the Corrado engine, you need to use a voltage splitter between the ignition coil and the VAG1367, like you do on Vanigans. The tool number of the voltage splitter is VW1473. With the VAG1367 hooked up, next we need to start the engine and let it idle. 
Next, we need to put the oxygen sensor in open loop and the ignition timing and idle stabilizer in a fixed position. To do this, reach over here and disconnect the blue coolant temperature sensor plug. Now raise the engine speed to between 2,000 to 2,500 RPM. The timing should be 6 degrees plus or minus 2 degrees before top dead center. For further details concerning specifications, refer to the repair information system. If the ignition timing needs to be corrected, we need to remove the tamper-proof cover over the ignition distributor hold-down bolt. Then adjust your timing to 6 plus or minus 1 degree before top dead center. Once this is complete, we can go ahead and set the idle speed. Raise the engine speed to over 3,000 RPMs four times. This cancels the hot start idle speed increase function. Make sure when you're doing this that the blue coolant temperature sensor harness plug is still disconnected. After four revs of over 3,000 RPMs, let the engine return to idle. You can now check the idle speed and the CO readings. For specifications, check the service information. If the settings are not within specs, you'll have to adjust them. The idle speed is adjusted by turning this screw on the throttle housing. With the idle set correctly, now we need to adjust the CO. To get at the CO adjustment screw, you'll have to remove the tamper-proof plug that covers the CO adjustment screw. To do this, drill a hole in the plug like you do on all other models. Thread in a screw and pull it out. After the adjustment, make sure that you replace a tamper-proof plug with a new one from your parts department. Now let's go ahead and make the adjustment. Change the CO by turning this screw here. For specifications, check the service information. With the CO set, recheck the idle. If the idle and the CO are within specs, reconnect the blue temperature sensor harness plug. Raise the engine speed four more times to over 3,000 RPM and let the engine come back to an idle. Check to make sure that the CO did not go out of specs. If the CO is out of specs, you'll want to take a look at the oxygen sensor system. Refer to the repair manual information system for further details. With the settings correct, shut off the engine and reconnect the crankcase breather hose. and install a tamper-proof plug over the CO adjustment screw. Well, that about does it. Now, a few things to remember are that the Digifont engine management system used on the Corrado differs from the Digifont 2 system used on the Golf and Jettas. When setting ignition timing, idle speed, and CO, make sure that the engine is fully warmed. During checking or adjusting the basic engine settings, Disconnect the blue coolant temperature sensor harness plug. Use the voltage splitter VW1473 when connecting the VAG1367 engine tester. Disconnect and vent to atmosphere the crankcase breather hose. Rev the engine four times to over 3,000 RPM to cancel the hot start idle increase function. Check and or set the timing, idle speed, and CO to specs. After adjusting, reconnect the blue coolant temperature sensor harness plug and recheck the CO. The CO should still be within specs. By making all these adjustments carefully, you can help ensure that the vehicle's fixed right the first time and that the customer is satisfied.